back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I wanted to do a fall makeup tutorial for 2017 because last year I feel like I didn't do a lot of tutorials for you guys. But today's video I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I feel like a lot of people have been using this palette a lot just for the summer. But I haven't seen a lot of fall makeup look with this and I wanted to do something unique. I, I didn't want to do anything that has to do with like the reddish and orange tones. So I think I'm going to go for one of the olive colors um, here and like a smoky eye. So let's just see where this takes me, but I really hope this works out because I'm usually on this side of the palette. So I'm gonna use a little bit more on the palette down here because I feel like olives is like a great color to use, especially for the fall and it's very wearable for any eye color. So, and that's if you guys wanna see me do this get ready chit chat, then let's just get started. Okay, so hope this is good for you guys, but I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And for this, I like to use my hand to blend this out because it's just so much easier than trying to use a brush. And I love this concealer because it covers up everything, especially the veins around your eyes and any discoloration. So I'm just going to set it with this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette Contour Palette. I'm just going to set it with this color. Next, I'm going to use a transition color, and I know I mentioned that I don't want to use orange, but I kind of want to use like the warm tones as like my transition color, and then kind of blend it in with the dark color later on. But I actually have this little poster from the palette that kind of tells me what name it is, in case you guys have the same palette and you guys want to do this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take creamsicle and pukey. And I'm just taking this fluffy brush and I'm just swirling it and using windshield wiper motion to just kind of blend everything in. You want to make sure to blend out all the harsh lines so that this can set a great base for um, later on. And if you guys didn't know, I just started school. So it's been pretty hectic. Um, I just feel like... You know, this, my summer went by so quick and it's crazy because I'm going to be graduating a year from now. So it's going to be really scary because I'm actually going to become an adult, which is kind of crazy. But I just, I just feel like I lost myself for a while just because I didn't film videos for you guys. And I was MIA on YouTube. Um, I finished my internship this summer. And it was awesome, but it was just kind of like one of those things where I kind of set YouTube off to the side. And I felt like I didn't feel like myself anymore because I didn't do a lot of makeup. And I love makeup and I love doing makeup during my free time. So when I stopped doing that, I just kind of fell off and I like talked to uh, my significant other about that. And he like encouraged me to kind of get back into it. So that's what I'm doing. So I hope that like if I do sound a little rusty because I haven't been on the camera for a while, you guys are okay with that. So after I set off this transition, I'm going to go in with, let's go with Butter and Pooter. So Butter and Pooter are these two right here. Yeah, and I also, I've also been wondering like why... Um, the views and like audience, you know interaction on YouTube has been going down and it's that has, has been like Getting me really really upset because every time I post a video It keeps showing that you guys are like unsubscribing to me and my views are constantly going down Which kind of discouraged me to kind of post videos But I just kept telling myself that I just need to start being consistent and everything will be fine so I'm just gonna keep doing that and see what happens but it's just it's it's just really hard when you're like working really hard on a video and you post it and then nobody's watching it and you're just like I used to have more views in this so it kind of sucks right, next I'm gonna go in with a darker color I am going to take enchanted and it is this olive green color right here I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but that's what it is and I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush to kind of blend that out.
And for this color, I'm solely like putting it on the outer corner only. Once all the product is on the outer corner, I will kind of bring it in a little bit. This is like the hardest side for me. I don't know why everybody has a good eyeball. And honestly, you guys, I just want to talk about something. I just feel like my engagement has been really low. So if you guys are still watching like my channel, can you guys like comment down below? Because I just want to see how many people have gotten this far because I feel like this is not that far but I usually lose engagement pretty quick which kind of makes me sad but I really want to see who is still here watching this channel because I know I've been MIA so that's my fault but I just want to see how many people are still watching this channel after that I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend out this the harsh lines And then I'm gonna add this beautiful olive green color. It's like this shimmer right here. I'm gonna put this all over like half of my eyelid from the inner corners to like the middle. Now I'm gonna take this small little fluffy brush. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to take Central Park and it looks like this. It kind of reminds me of Fudge from Anastasia. I'm gonna go back to the warm shade to kind of bring it up into my inner corners, but I'm gonna take Pukey and Creamsicle again, tap it up, and then bring it forward. These two are like my favorite shade in the palette because I literally like use them for every single warm look that I do because they both just go so well together with any kind of like warm look. I guess this is coming along good guys. I feel like the blending is not too bad. Obviously my camera shut off while I was doing my right eye so I'm gonna show you guys the same thing that I did on my right eye on my left side. So we're gonna go back into that color Enchanted. Like I said that color is the dark olive green that we start off with like as a base. This eye look is kind of tricky because you just have to keep blending everything out until everything looks right and all the harsh lines are gone. Then I'm just going to kind of repeat the same steps. So I'm going to take that olive shimmer color again next to Enchanted. This one is called Diva and I'm just going to bring that back into the inner corners again into the middle and then for the inner corners i am using this lip brush which is like a synthetic lip brush from bh cosmetic then i'm going to take this color called obsessed right here And then for my bottom lash line, I am going to mix mostly everything together. So I'm going to start off with Enchanted. And then after that, I'm going to take Dreamsicle and Pukey. And then after that, I'm going to go in with this dark brown kind of reddish color. So since I forgot to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take the Shade and Light palette. I'm going to take these two colors and mix them together. 
so I decided to just put my hair like this because I just think it looks so much better than just leaving it down curl but I decided to go with this lipstick right here it is just the color poppy FF pencil like I just mentioned earlier but I decided to go with this because it just kind of matched with the grungy theme and fit with the fall season but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do please give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below what kind of looks you guys want me to do next since fall is coming up also don't forget to subscribe right here I'll list a little button right here for you guys to click and then that's I really hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys next time bye guys